in the realm of medical oncology, there are a number of things that are really advances and are important. One is we're routinely now using something we call Oncotype, which is a test that's used on women who have estrogen receptor positive tumors and it allows us to look at 21 different genes in the person's actual tumor cells and on the basis of this test make a very intelligent recommendation about whether or not the woman would be a candidate or benefit from chemotherapy. Uh, so it's allowed us to be more selective on who we offer chemotherapy to and those that we do offer it to are the people that will benefit from it most. Within the realm of medical oncology, other advances that have been um, important are that we now have what are called uh, selective therapies or monoclonal antibodies which allow us to use a biologic therapy rather than a traditional chemotherapy to attach to certain types of receptors in cells that allow us to treat tumors in more comprehensive ways than we could do with just chemotherapy alone. This is particularly the case in women who are what we call HER2 positive uh, for the HER2 receptor. Um, they're able to use drugs uh, such as Herceptin or Trastuzumab, uh, which is actually an antibody that's very effective. These traditionally have been tumors that are very aggressive biologically and standard chemotherapy has really not been as complete an answer as we've liked. So the monoclonal antibodies are important. There are more and more new uh, understandings coming down about the importance of what are called signaling pathways, the way that cells talk to each other, the way that tumor cells talk to the inside of the cell, and we're able to selectively target those pathways and shut down cells uh, in ways that are more sophisticated than we could before. Uh, we're also in that field recognizing that when you have breast cancer, it isn't just a single cell type, but it's a whole grouping of different types of cells. And we're learning the importance of trying to distinguish those different types of cells so that the therapy can be targeted to specific cell populations within a tumor to make the treatment more effective.